Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lawrence. I'm here with another video that I'm going to show you about places to visit in Madikeri. So we have decided for a vacation as it is a summer holidays for our kids. We thought to travel out. So I thought I'll make a video on places to visit in Madikeri. So hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to make it in two parts because it's going to be a long video. And uh, share me your feedback in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like it, share it. Anything that you do would be really appreciated. See you in. left uh, Bangalore around uh, 1 o'clock and it is almost uh, 6 o'clock in the evening I guess uh, we have another 40 more kilometers to cover, uh, reach uh, Madikeri so friends finally we have reached uh, Madikeri and it took a little longer time than we expected so it is, right now it is 8.45 in the evening and this is the stay home that is you know we booked it from Oyo it is really good for the price what we have got we have paid somewhere around 1000 bucks uh, per, per day, I mean per night. So go in, let me take you in and show you the rooms. Come. This is the entrance of the room, and uh, it's a 2BHK homestay. So it's pretty decent for the price what we have got. And here is the toilet. And that is another Indian toilet. And that is the kitchen. So if you decide to cook yourself, you can buy your things and cook whatever you feel like. So this is pretty, pretty good, man. This is absolutely amazing place for the price what we have got. It's all worth it. And this is one more bedroom. So if you wish to know this location, I will share it in the description below. You can uh, check it out. Oh, this is another one. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, good morning, my dear friends. So, we just got up, and this is the view of the place where we are staying. And it looks so beautiful. This place is so well maintained. These guys come in the morning and they collect garbage from every individual house. So this place is like very, very well maintained. We are really enjoying this moment here. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, this was a great experience that we had. Mm, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like it, share it. Anything that you do will be really appreciated. See you in the next video. So we went inside the dam and unfortunately the dam was closed. So they said uh, it is open from 9 in the morning to 5 in the evening. So we just thought uh, there is a shopping space just next to this Nisarga dam. So let me just go ahead and show you some of the things that is available in this place. Maybe uh, evening would be a good uh, uh, timing to come down and visit this place. They have got all this, you know, uh, great things that Kool has, you know, has to offer you like this honey and coffees and spices and uh, a lot more. So we'll just cover a few of the things that is available in this place. So here are some of the different varieties of uh, wine and uh, you know vinegars, things like that. These are some of the chocolates. lot of lot of things that you can purchase in this place I think uh, you could uh, you know buy some good quality coffee wine. coffee powder it's a chili wine. Uh -huh. I'm tasting it. okay oh he broke it 
So they are, these are some uh, chapel shops and uh, spices. It's pretty calm and not so so crowded. And uh, you can just come down peacefully, watch things, spend some time. They have some uh, juice juice stall as well, and there is a restaurant. Here is the clothing shop. So hopefully this fellow is excited about me taking the video. They also have some uh, entertainment uh, zone inside. <clears throat> Where I think uh, there's some game zone for kids. As you can see here, uh, there is a game zone which is like, you know, dragon boat. And uh, they also have this ride in the bike. This is something where they call it as a 3D gravity hole and a 3D mirror maze. I think this is the entertainment zone. Above this, uh, there is full ride. Some more clothing shops, bag shops, food junction. That's the view of this place, uh, which is located right next to uh, uh, you know the dam that I was talking about. So good time to come down is I guess in the evening there's a lot of light and you can purchase some good uh, uh, you know spices and stuff like that for your house that's about this place so I will take you to the next place stay tuned so this is a you know Kaveri handicrafts they have got some nice uh, sculptures and uh, good collection of uh, arts so let's just go take a quick view of this place it was so interesting to watch all this unique art designs. Wow. They have got a lot of collection of Buddha faces. Wow, check this out. <coughs> this is so amazing. I think uh, I might be picking up something from this place just for a remembrance and this place has got beautiful collection of this artworks it's completely done in wood and uh, painting so I think I'm not sure about the prices I guess it should be a bit expensive but this is it's all worth it it's superb very very beautifully done so our first point of uh, visit is this place called uh, Sri Omkarishwara temple and this is located right inside the city and uh, this is one of the place that you need to visit uh, if you are here in Madikeri. Let me show you what is available inside. There's a small uh, pond kind of thing that is available here. And that is the main entrance of the temple. And we are going to enter the temple. This is the main entrance. So we completed the view of this uh, Omkareshwara temple. Uh, we couldn't, uh, I mean, as you can see, I mean, they have put a post saying that no videos or, uh, you know, it's prohibited. But somehow we managed to cover some uh, uh, images or videos inside. So that's the view of Omkareshwara temple. Hope you liked it. We'll go to the next location and uh, show you some more things available in uh, Madikeri.
So here we are at uh, Dubare Elephant Camp. This is one of the place that you have to visit if you are in Madikeri. And this place offers you a you know, a elephant ride that happens early in the morning till uh, 11 o'clock and then uh, they close by 11 and again it opens by 4.30 in the evening until 6 o'clock. Finally, we have reached the Dubare Elephant uh, Camp and uh, in this place you also have this horse ride and you can see this uh, some of the restaurants and the main thing about this place is the water. You can you see the water, they, this is the place where you can spend some time with your kids. You can play in the water and uh, the water is not very deep and it is a bit safe for kids. So my kids are going to play in the water for some time. And this is the view of the Dubare water. water waterfalls and you can see the kids playing here that's pretty safe too a lot of kids are playing around so I think uh, this is a good place to spend some time uh, and right now the weather is so hot my kids are going to enjoy this water for some time so there you go my boys are here guys say hi to what do you think about this place Aryan Say hi. It's not deep, right? It is clean and it is good. And uh, you can see a uh, lot of frogs inside here. And uh, there are fishes also, different varieties of fishes. The uh, water is pretty clean and it is pretty safe as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to take you to another location and show you something that is available in, uh, in, in uh, Madikeri. Okay. <laughs> Next destination where uh, we are at uh, Golden Temple. This is one of the locations that you gotta visit if you are traveling to Madikeri. Uh, let me take you in and show you what's available inside Golden Temple. Entrance of Golden Temple. And we are entering inside the temple and let's see what's there inside. So as soon as you enter the temple, this is what it is. It's got a very huge space and uh, there are a lot of traditional uh, uh, shops. This is the main entrance of the Golden Temple. So as we enter, we see the statue of you know, the main person. I am not sure about the name. And this is a view of the temple and there are a lot of monks here. It's very beautifully structured and uh, this is the front view. That is another view, another temple on the left side. Very beautifully structured. 
very unique. Uh, earlier, they used to allow us to take a video on the in the main uh, temple, but uh, for some reason they have stopped it. So let me go inside and show you. Uh, let me take the video inside and show you what is available. I don't know. I'm not sure whether they allow us to take videos, but uh, we'll give it a try. As we enter, this is an art that is done on the wall. So. They are not supposed to wear chapels inside. And that's the view of the temple. Here is where the chanting, the prayer happens. And that is the view of the Buddha right there. It's awesome, man. Look at the detailing guys, it's so perfectly done, very colorful and really so pleasant to watch this entire thing. We have this lawn, a very beautiful lawn and uh, there's a water fountain over there. and. I think the rest of the places, I don't think so. There is any entry to our uh, tourist people, but this is a place for selfies and things like that. Yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah. This one is a smaller uh, temple which is on the right side as soon as you enter and uh, this is the view of the temple. So I have entered inside and this is like some goddess kind of statue and this is how it looks inside this is the main entrance of the temple and we are entering into the temple and this is the view of the temple it looks so beautiful and wonderfully done artwork all the walls are painted amazingly and uh, all the statues and structures are all so pleasing, so beautiful, unbelievable. I guess this is a super duper place to see all these sculptures and all this unique artwork and everything else is done like super detailed. That's the view of the main temple, the main entrance. Uh, inside view So friends, finally we have reached Abbey Falls. So we are going to take you inside and show you what is available inside. So as we are entering this Abbey Falls, it just takes a turn over here. And they do allow you to play in the falls is what I heard. It's a very deep, steep road that you have to travel down. And uh, traveling down is going to be easy, but traveling back up is going to be a little bit task. So, just an awareness. So, we are still walking down the road, and uh, I guess it is a steep road. It is almost more than a kilometer 
you know, downhill. Wow, we have finally reached the falls and it's amazing guys, check this out. My god, this is crazy. Jesus Christ, this is like the wonder of this nature. It is looking so awesome. Wow, it's all worth it to come down this place and watch this falls. Beautiful. That's the falls, guys. It's Abbey Falls. I was expecting, you know, to be a small one, but uh, this is a very big falls. Awesome to watch this falls from here. This is the view of uh, Abbey Falls, located in Madikeri, one of the must-visit place in Madikeri. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will show you to the. I'll be taking you to the next location and uh, show you what is available in that place. And that should be it about Abbey Falls. This is our next destination which is called Kaveri Nisarga Dam and uh, we are going to enter, enter the dam right now and uh, let me show you what is available inside. Stay tuned. So we have got the ticket right here it is 10 bucks for adults and 5 bucks for kids. This is the main entrance of uh, Nisarga Dam. Nisarga Dama. Here we go. This looks like a place in the movie which is like you know the dinosaur movie Jurassic Park yeah so this is this is a uh, pathway and uh, there you go that's the Kaveri river It's beautiful to watch the fishes down there. The fishes are so huge. These are the koi fishes. Walking on the bridge gives you a different experience altogether and it is so nice to see something which is unique. This is what is inside the, the park and they have got this uh, creative you know, seating area. Just it talks about the tradition of, you know, Kodagu. So we have these beautiful statues inside, as you can see there. So this statue resembles the Kodagu dance. Not sure about the name of the dance, but uh, it represents that. I'll show you one more. So this resembles the village lifestyle. Oh, it's done very beautifully. This looks so realistic. This resembles the Kodagu uh, female dance. That's the rest of the view of the park inside this uh, Nisarga Dam. Pretty well done. And one of the must visit place in Madikeri. Another place where Kodagu people dancing.
So that was the view of this uh, location. I uh, hope you like this video and uh, don't go anywhere. We are going to take you to the next location. See you in. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, this was a great experience that we had. Mm, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like it, share it. Anything that you do will be really appreciated. See you in the next video.